Hi, I'm Michelle McHugh, Food Director for Mind Food. Today I'm with Craig Cooks from Craig Cooks Premier Meats. And wonderful to have you here at our Tober Stud in the Southern Highlands. Fantastic. On this brisk morning. Very brisk morning, but we're looking forward to cooking some beautiful beef and we've been out on the farm and seen the most amazing looking... Look, the cows are content, so we're right, and we've got some beautiful beef to showcase you. I brought some of my little favourites, actually. Fantastic. Which I think you'll enjoy. I bought some dry-aged prime rib. I brought some T-bone and lamb cutlets, which are always popular with the kids, and our New York sirloin. Now, what this meat has been, it's been grown on the farm, and then it's been naturally aged for a period of time in our Himalayan salt rock rooms. That, people will understand, is a process that really enhances flavour and tenderness. Everyone's a master of their own barbecue. How do you go about cooking your meat? Well, a butcher should be a master because he's on the barbecue all the time <laughs> and he's at the party, he's the man that is at the barbecue. Well, he is too. Look, my secret is get your barbecue to a nice even heat. I like to cook my sausages first, my tasty beef sausages, which I like to put on and let them start to sizzle and start to get the flavour onto the barbecue plate. I'll cook the sausages on the plate and then I'll come to the grill. Once I've got my sausages starting to brown a little, once they've turned, I'm ready to put a steak on. I'll then take one of our beautiful prime ribs here that's been dry aged, a Himalayan salt rock dry aged prime rib, and I'll put that on the very hot part of the flame side of the barbecue. There's a reason for that. As a butcher, you want to, you know, think you're a little bit of a chef and put the lines through the steak, but you also want to seal that meat. What happens now? What's now the look, problem? we're at the perfect time. Okay. As we discussed, our barometer, the sausage, is yep. ready. Yep. So I say to myself, leave the sausage there. He doesn't need to sit at all. But our favourite, the prime rib, which we've now turned, let's make sure we seal our salt in up onto the rack and let it just rest. Yep. It must now shall rest. Yep. And I normally, you know, four or five minutes, I'll turn the barbecue off and I'll just shut the lid and I'll let the steak rest. And it will rest at its own temperature again. The temperature's not changing and the steak's sitting in there perfectly, okay. ready for us to serve. Basically, we're completely off on all our grills yep. and we're letting the barbecue level out. And now the steak is going to be perfect. Okay, so that all the juices are in the steak, going nowhere. Everything's sealed in, yep. the juices are in, you've done your salting, you've done everything, it's resting. It's now time just to grab your plate and we're ready to serve. Okay. So we open our barbecue, you feel oh, that beautiful heat come yeah. out, those lovely smells. There's your steak rested perfectly and onto the plate. And the piece de resistance, our old <laughs> favourites, the, the sausage. beef sausages. And there we go. Okay. You're ready to serve that beautiful steak. This smells absolutely brilliant. What I we've have been to waiting say. for. Now I'm serving you my favourite. This is the prime rib, which you can see now is already starting to break apart. It's that tender. Mm. It's ready. It's cooked perfectly. Yeah. That little bit rare that you like. I like and it. And it's way. starting to break apart. That's the sign of a quality piece of steak. As it's settling, it's softening as it's coming back mm. to what we call room temperature and ready to eat. So only a little bit of your wonderful sauce. Tell us a little bit of what you've got there. Well, I've made you a beautiful... Um cream, horseradish cream. I've just added some mustard, some beautiful herbs out of your garden, some, um, I'm going to put on mine, some cream fresh and a little bit of... Look, and I definitely will have it on mine. One of my favourites, horseradish. Is it? And the fact that you've used some uh, interesting little ingredients out of my garden, <laughs> I'm going to say it's got to be good. Oh, it's got to be good. But uh, look, you can get to our stores, which are spread over a number of places, suburbs in Sydney. Yeah. And if you haven't got time for that, we've got a great online service. All you do is go online, click on the product you want, order it. If you spend more than $75, we deliver it to you free. It's packaged, it's done, it's tempered. Everything's done to your convenience and we'll deliver it at the time that suits you. Oh. So it's a, only a phone call away and we'll have Tova Platinum grass-fed beef and lamb at your door. Would well, you look, like I, I think it's time to eat. We need to serve some of this salad. Yeah. And uh, cheers to a lovely glass of red wine. Cheers. We've got the Which masters. makes the steak even more perfect. Wonderful. And away we go. Nice to see you.